Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Alright, so this is going to be a Aries Sun, Moon and Rising weekly tarot reading for September 2nd uh, to September 8th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second guys here to shuffle the tarot cards. <coughs> and we're going to jump uh, right into it. Alright, so that's good enough, I guess. And the first card, which represents the topic, the very theme of uh, your week, Aries, is going to be the Five of Pentacles, followed by the challenges that you need to overcome here throughout the week. That is going to be uh, the Magician card. Afterwards, we do have the Ace of Swords, of, uh, which represents the positive aspect. And then the last one, uh, that will be the Moon card, which stands for the Guidance. Mm, all right. So... It does look like that you are going to uh, sail into some sort of a um, unknown waters, I would say it that way. So things that you are going to have little clue how to deal with, at least at the start of the week. So it's very important here not to panic out when the week starts, okay? And you have to face many predicaments. So before we go into all that and see how this thing is going to play out, let's run the cards one more time. So we do have the Five of Pentacles as a general topic and the theme of the month, followed by the next one, which is the Magician card. That is going to be the challenge that you need to overcome. Furthermore, what we do have, it is the Ace of Swords, which points to the positive aspect. And the last card that we do have for you, Aries, this is going to be the Moon card, which stands for a the Guidance. All right, so... Um, Five of Pentacles, rather quite uh, unpleasant card to have, especially as a topic. It does point that many problems are going to start resurfacing, all right? Uh, in a sense of that these problems may not be something severe, you know, but every single aspect of your life is not going to, it's simply, it's not going to give you a break. You're going to have trifles into your career, trifles into your relationship life or into your marriage as well. And all these kinds of stuff. So on many fronts, you know, you're going to experience certain small, but a lot of setbacks. Okay. And should you not be uh, mentally strong, what I mean is that you are not panicking and you're not kind of losing your core, cool, you know, um, <clears throat> then you, you are to face those things in rather uh, quite efficient manner, you know, but should you panic, should you lose your core, cool, you know, should you uh, end, end up into a, uh, a state of distress, then uh, it doesn't look like that you will be able to manage a lot from it. The very points of the Five of Pentacles, rather like how you deal with the Five of Pentacles, you know, if you maintain your strong sense of uh, of reality, I would say, okay, and strong ses sense as well of a uh, analytic analytic mind, which instead of, like I said, you know, panicking about something, try to find a resolution of it because such a resolution does exist. Now, important here, uh, important thing here to be said as well is that with the Five of Pentacles, you can definitely ask for help. You know, two people struggling in the winter, which means that you don't have to face those 
difficulties, right? So rather like trifles, I would say, on your own. Uh, then the next one here is going to be the Nine of Cups. Uh, this is the catalyst. Passive uh, friends is what we do have. So those predicaments are gonna uh, are gonna start popping up into those kind of endeavors and fields with these with this card that you thought are kind of like sorted out. You know, you thought that you pretty much figured everything through and you are quite happy with the result, but suddenly you know things start starting to appear, which uh, are uh, undermining you know your progress. No different than, for example, you negotiate uh, something that happened with my brother, you know, because he's trying to open up a, uh, I will give it as an example here. Uh, he's trying to open up his own business. He found a good place to start with, you know, ready to rent it and so on and so forth. Uh, they negotiated the things with, uh, the, with the landlord, you know, and everything seemed fine. He was quite excited about it. But then when the contract came in, there were those kind of like stipulations into it that was not something he would agree to. All right. So these kind of stuff I am talking about, that's, you know, you thought that everything is OK, but suddenly, you know, things appear that shows up that needs a little bit more work over. The, uh, the uh, challenges that you need to face here, this is going to be the Magician card. So the Magician uh, points to that you are unlikely to find uh, the right way how to sort with those trifles straight away, okay? It will take a deal of effort for you to, <clears throat> how can I place it, to, um, to find the right, uh, the, uh, the right fashion of actions. So this ain't no walk in the park, okay? It's not something that you can just get into and it does require from you to use your communicational skill it does require for you to uh, find out how uh, what kind of a determined actions you can incorporate there so you can resolve those trifles either into your career or either into your relationship as well the very point here is not to rush things out and as i said uh, panicking could be something that you can experience <clears throat> that things are deteriorating so it's important here to uh, take a bit of a moment you know, catch up your breath and think carefully how you are to attend to those uh, to those things. Uh, the accompanied card here, it is the start passive uh, active supporters supporters. It is what we do have. So that is a bit dangerous. It's a bit dangerous because um, those small problems could actually appear as something unfixable. OK, so, for example, you do start you have started a new relationship here and uh, everything went very good. You pretty much sealed the deal with your own new partner, you know, but suddenly you start arguing over something so small and, and the argument escalates in such a great height, you know, that you think that the relationship is done, is over. While in the same time, you know, should you catch up your breath, you know, think carefully about it and recognize what kind of a small thing you are arguing over that it doesn't even, uh, it doesn't even worth your attention, you know, the relationship can be saved. It's all about that. Do not panic. The next one is going to be in regards to the positive aspect of the week, and we do have the Ace of Swords. So Ace of Swords represents a couple of things. Now, the first one is that you are going to have the strength of your mentality, all right, and spiritual strength as well only if you don't panic. So that is given to you by default, I would say, all right? And only you can throw it away by once again panicking. So the next thing it is that uh, this, this sense of awareness that you're gonna have is gonna allow you to place an, an accurate assessment, an accurate diagnosis upon the situation, and furthermore, identify how to, how to resolve those trifles that are many of them in every front of your life and some of the actions are going to be quite radical but you're going to have no problem with it doing those radical actions because you know it is what it takes to restore balance in your life now the accompanied card here it is the king of wands formation it is a active friends that we do have so the more you um the more you keep on working to resolve those trifles the more powerful actions you are to start incorporating into your uh into your routine i would say you know that um, are gonna make you feel joyful it's kind of weird you know but it's it's like you are going to feel good that 
you are capable to, to to fix those things you know it's not like pff, you know finally i'm over but yeah i i kind of overcome it it's it's going to be um how can i place it it's going to be a state of mind where you are going to experience pleasure that you have overcome difficulty that you have overcome a a, a, a plight or a arrival and the last one it is about the guidance the tarot is offering to you we do have the moon card and the moon card here points that there are times that shit happens it's it's inevitable you know no matter how structured you do have your life around i shit simply happens shit which uh, things which are um, beyond your control but the moon card here also says that everything happens for a reason you know and wherever you are experiencing those small problems you know trifles whatever those trifles is affecting that was definitely was supposed to happen it, or it is supposed to happen and it is better to experience those problems now and resolve them instead of you know uh, having those problems further into the future where you where you are even more invested into it like with the example of the relationship you know it is better to fight and recognize that you are fighting over an a, a insignificant things with your new partner now and fix that issue instead of recognizing that this is happening when you get engaged you know and it's, it's much more difficult then to to do something about it the accompanied card here is going to be the page of wands the formation it is a, a passive enemies so with the page of wands here it is simply a, a call not to give up even though you know some people may may say screw it you know i just i just don't have time right now to deal with it or i just don't want to deal with it right now and simply give it a, a silent and neglective treatment it is important that you don't give up like i said and attend to every single obstacle small obstacle because these obstacles are going to be small obstacles that are appearing um, in your uh, in your path now uh, at the end i want to give a little bit more um practical um interpretation of the cards because the five of pentacles it could mean as well financial losses and should that be the case with you guys then those those are not going to be a financial losses but are going to be insufficient funds okay insufficient funds to for example buy something that you wanted to buy for yourself throughout this week either because you have unexpected uh, expenses that you need to cover and you don't have money to buy it and etc etc but with these cards you know uh you are gonna make peace with it and uh with the moon and the page of wands um at the end uh, they they simply says that now was not the time for you to buy it but a time for you to buy it is going to come around and probably you're going to buy a new version of it or in a much better deal and etc etc so that being said uh, <clears throat> aries this was your weekly tower reading uh september 2nd to september 8 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we are going to see each other around until then bye